Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have another Shaman King figure, and this time it is uh, Basson. So we have our first ghost figure. Up to this point, we have done Yo, Len, and Rio, and now we've got this guy. So a much bigger figure um, than the main characters. And you can see him here in the package. He's got some different movement abilities. So if you squeeze his legs or if you push this button, I think on the back of his elbow, he'll do something different with the weapon. And we'll test both of those out once he's out of the package. But let's see it here in the back. So there's the figure. See the clear legs. And this is one of my favorite things about the figure is everything up here is painted. The legs are nice and clear because in the show, the ghost would float behind the main character. And so like this, if you put the main character in front of the ghost, you're not seeing all the paint behind it. It's clear, so it's almost as if he's just floating back there. So it's a really neat little detail. So it'll tell you here a little bit about the show, train to become the Shaman King. And then here it's just showing the different movement. So we'll give those a whirl. And then we've got the other figures that are available. I've been searching for the Sumida Maru. I'm really close to getting him. We've got Tokigero. I'd love to get these two to match up with uh, Yo and Ryo. And then here we have Lee Pai Long, I believe was his name, but we don't have June as a character, so I may or may not get this one. If somebody would like to see it, just leave a comment down below. And this is actually a figure that was requested by a subscriber. It was Halo Mars, so thank you for requesting this. And if anybody has any other figures they'd like to see, please just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get the figure. I'm also working on getting the Dragon Ball Z Majin Buu figure that uh, Jordan Castro um, requested. So. That should be here soon, that video will be up. And then let's go ahead and get this guy out of the package. And then here, just real quick, we can see the image of the character from the show. So the figure's spot on. I mean, all the detailing is there and they did a really good job on this. So let's get this package opened up. We'll start in the back because these figures always have this plastic strip across the back. So you have to loosen that up before you can tear the front of the plastic up. So we're going to try to do this as cleanly as possible as we always do. Try not to get a cut from that plastic too when you're opening up the package. Pretty sharp. So this one's a little bit different because it's such a big figure. The plastic piece you have to lift up is a lot bigger, but there it is. So we're going to pull the figure out and set the package off to the side. And then we've got our little slip of paper here. So again, you can see the character. It's a nice sturdy plastic. Normally it's just a sheet of paper, but this is really nice. Nice quality, you're gonna save that so we can put the figure back in the packaging after the fact. So there he is. We've got our little, so it's kind of like a little plastic tab and it shows what happens when you squeeze his legs. And then this is just another sticker. It shows what happens when you push the button. Look at this, we got instructions. Never seen this before. Hopefully we won't need these to figure out what to do with the figure, but in case you're not sure, it comes with directions. So, it says put the weapon in his hands, squeeze his legs, and then he'll swing the weapon, and then put the weapon in the one hand and push the button, and he'll swing it around. We'll set that off to the side. We'll keep that in case we ever forget how the figure works. And then in the back, these are always zip tied in. Not zip tied, but there's this little plastic piece that they tie around to hold the figure in place. And we'll go ahead and loosen these up so we can get him out. Overall, the build on this is great. It's a really high quality, durable figure. All of the Shaman King ones are. A lot of good detail went into them and I don't think they made too many. There are some that they made after the fact that are more standalone figures, but I'm more focused on the original um, action figures more so than just the ones that you put on display. So let's see if we can get him out. And there he is. Just see how 
Okay, let's get him to stand. So here's the little plastic piece. We'll move that over to the side. And then we've got the figure here. So let's just take a look at him up close and see the details. So one thing that was always interesting to me about him is there's such a massive build to the body, but he's got this tiny little head. So <laughs> kind of kind of funny, but I'm not sure if that swivel is not going to try to move it too much. So here we've got the little plastic piece that was there in place to hold the weapon. We'll set that off to the side. So here's the weapon in his arm. So the arm kind of clicks. I'm sure that has something to do with that mechanism where if you squeeze his his legs, it moves. And we've got the button here on the side, which you can see it twists his wrist. And so that'll be a part of that swinging the weapon around process that we'll show here in just a little bit. So let me get the weapon out of his hand temporarily. And we can just look at the figure. So you can see the detail. This kind of scarf that he's got around his neck that's blowing in the wind. The paint has a nice kind of shiny finish to it. It's done extremely well. You can see the blue eyes, the helmet, the armor, and then even in the back. Again, nice little shine, and so you got some little cuts from the plastic. Be careful opening this up. And there's the armor, and then here is his uh, robe. I'm not sure what you want to call this thing, but <clears throat> underneath you'll see the mechanism for moving around his arms and, and that weapon, and then again the clear legs, like we mentioned. But even here, even though they're clear, they still put in the detailing as far as the armor. A really really nice figure love the details let's go ahead and set him down and we'll take a look at the weapon the same one like Len has are very similar I don't know what this thing is called but there it is we'll get that in his hands and then we have the Len figure here as well and so you can see there's the ghost let me get that to focus in one second So there is the ghost version of him. And so when you see him next to Lynn, you can see there he is. So that's really neat. First, we're gonna set them, let's set Lynn down. Let's actually go ahead and see what the figure does as far as movement. And then we'll set it up where he's standing behind Lynn so we can see what it looks like as if it was in the show. So here we have his hands. You can see they can move. And let's go ahead and get the weapon into this one hand. So we'll lift his arm up, like it says, and then we'll push the button. So we got the weapon in there, and he holds it pretty tight. The weapon's not going to slide out of his hand. And then when you push this button, you'll see that he'll swing the weapon. So that's a pretty neat feature. Really sturdy too, really good build on the figure. And so we'll get that out. And then we'll get the weapon in both hands. Try to do that. All right, so you can see here that he's now got it in both hands. And then let me scoot this out a little bit. So he's holding the weapon. Just looks so cool. Love the detailing on the figure. And then when you squeeze his legs together, he swings the weapon down. So I love it. Absolutely, by far, one of my favorite figures that I've ever opened up. And I'm gonna set him behind Lynn, and then we'll get a, a shot from down below of him behind Len, like we'd seen the show if they were fighting together. Let me just adjust this camera. And then let's get this down right here. So you can just see how neat that looks. We got Len with the spirit and the weapon, which you can see there in the back. And then you got him floating around right there. He's got his weapon. And then right behind him is Basson with the same weapon, ready to go into battle together. And there's the clear legs like we mentioned, so obviously you can see them because it's the figure, but the idea of it is 
like it would be in the show, you don't see the color behind Lane, you just kind of see that it's clear and it's almost as if he's just floating right there behind him. So good shot of that. And then let's do one more close up on the Basson figure and we'll wrap up the video. Really hope everybody enjoys this one. Probably my favorite Shaman King figure that I've done up to this point. And after seeing this Basson, I've got to get the Amida Maru. Whatever it takes, we got to get him and we got to do a review on that. So here is up close one more time. And for anyone who's a fan of the show, I highly recommend getting this figure. You'll absolutely love it. And you can find them. I, eBay's a little bit short on them now. I feel like a year or so ago you could find more. But if you look on Amazon, they may be a little bit pricey. You may be looking at probably 50 to 70 bucks. But if you're a huge fan of the show or you want to be a collector, um, I'd say definitely worth getting. It's worth the money. I know it's expensive, but at least for me, it's worth it. And there he is in the back one more time. Let's see the detailing there. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if there's any other figure you'd like to see, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get the figure and to do a, re a review video for you. So here's Bassum one more time up close. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.